Ah! There's only a little bit left. Okay, so in this video, it's kind of a different background. As you can see, I'm in this amazing mansion right now that I'm here in Medellin, Colombia. We threw a photo shoot earlier today and it was kind of amazing, kind of crazy. Reminded me a lot of Vegas. Glad because the quarantine was such a crazy thing where you couldn't really do much. So I was glad to kind of get back to some type of normalcy with this. In this video, what I want to talk about is I want to talk about the five benefits of Social Circle you're probably not even thinking about right now. <laughs> Obviously, you've seen the crazy things that I post on Instagram at Coach Patrick Red, and you've already sent me DMs, so many DMs asking me to come to my events and things like that. So I wanted to kind of pull back the curtain because you see what I do, but it's never really been broken down into what are the exact direct benefits that building a elite lifestyle through networking can actually give you. And I wanna be able to break this down directly because I get so many of these questions in my DMs. I'm always happy to reply to them. But I wanna actually break this down so that way you know as clear as night and day exactly what these benefits are. So the first social circle benefit is that the high status people that are around you right now are actually reflections of who you are. Now, this isn't just to like feel good about yourself that, oh yeah, I'm cool friends with this guy or that, but no, it's because it actually legitimately has a benefit to you. I became friends with the guy who owns this place and therefore I'm able to record this video right now. He's not even here right now. He led us to just party and do whatever we want. He brought us extra alcohol. He gives us extra benefits and you've probably already seen how people get their jobs in the workplace already. Let me break this down. Most people don't get their jobs based on being the most qualified. What they actually get their jobs on is based on who they are friends with. And maybe you've gotten cheated out of something before where you thought that wasn't fair. How did that person get that job and I didn't get that job. And you've seen this kind of like bureaucracy and favorability all the time. So when you become friends with high status guys, you actually become part of that in group. You become part of the person who gets kind of like the cheats or the cheat code into those types of different environments. And the people that are around you are actually reflections of your ability to actually connect with other people. If you have an amazing skill set, but you don't actually have people around you that you can actually use that skill set to achieve a high status, well, then that's a fault in, no offense, but it's kind of a fault in what your thinkings are and what people and your teachers and everyone else has taught you. Everyone taught you that you would earn a high status or you would deserve to become friends with, or you deserve to have that amazing job because you're the harder worker, you're the skilled person. But in reality, you've already seen that's not the case. It's the person who's actually connected with the high status guy, the guy who, who buys their boss a coffee. It's the guy who's kind of like a, kind of a tongue in cheek brown noser that gets the promotion and gets the benefits. So you already understand that if you actually have high status men around you, that's actually a reflection of who you are and your understanding of your surroundings. Now, the easy part is that's easy to actually fix. Now, the second thing is that people judge you superficially and it's, it's, a, it's a reality. People will judge you based on how you look, how you dress, what type of image and the people that are around you. And obviously we've all heard like never judge a book by a cover, but that's how you should think, but not how everyone else necessarily thinks. When people are looking at you, you wanna give up a public perception that actually gives you benefits. If you become friends with cool people and you're doing cool things and you have this public perception, well then you get the benefits of that lifestyle, whether or not you deserve it or not. And you might think that that's really superficial, but 
you can kind of play the game or you can be left out. The third point of actually the benefits for your social circle is that opportunities start coming to you. I bet right now that you might feel like you're constantly trying to get people interested in the life that you are living and people just don't have that interest in what you're doing. So if you feel like you're the seller versus the buyer, where if you're the seller, people are actually coming to you and you're not trying to chase them out or anything like that, as opposed to the buyer who's trying to like gain attention from people. Well, you have to understand that your business opportunities, your social opportunities, and your dating opportunities are gonna come from being around those people more often. When you actually have a circle of people around you that are at the level of where you wanna be, well then opportunities just come to you because you are already definitionally a member of that actual group. You don't actually have to go out and seek people one-on-one. -on -one. You don't have to be this person who's just like sniper approaching random people but you can actually just have people bring you new people. For example, with this photo shoot, I didn't know the girls. I didn't know the photographer. I didn't know the location. How'd you do it, Patrick? Well, somebody in my network knew the photographer. The photographer knew a guy who knew the girls. I also met another guy randomly somewhere else that happened to know a bunch of girls. And then this, one of the people who lives in Medellin already, already knew where this place was. So I just kind of need to, to actually assemble those different pieces. And that's what the fourth point is. You can just become kind of a puppet master. And I don't mean puppet master as in like, everyone always pictures like this guy who's like doing like witchcraft and going behind the scenes of like, uh, what's the voodoo dolls and like stabbing people. But essentially what a, being a puppet master is, is about arranging things into value arbitrage. It's not that I need to actually learn how to do photography. I don't consider myself a great photographer most of my, Instagram pictures are with my iPhone or by my videographer. I don't have to know a lot of the people. I don't even have to know the location. I don't have to be super social. I'm not a super social person. I, I, I said it, I'm an introverted person. I don't like talking to people. It wears me out. Even talking to this camera wears me out, but I need to do it because I know that you also wanna actually learn how to do these things. You don't have to be the person who's trying to orchestrate everything. You can be the puppet master behind the scenes, just kind of putting people together, seeing what they create, and then reaping the benefits of that. And you're not value taking in that situation. Nobody here had a bad time today. The girls were laughing. We had an amazing time. We got to drink amazing champagne. With the owner, I got him some cool photos from my videographer. Everyone had an amazing time. It's not value taking to actually put these people together. One of the other guys who I met here is a blue check mark celebrity. And he, you know, connected with one of the guys who was like the, the person who takes care of the place, like the housekeeper here. So they have like three different housekeepers. Now the fifth social circle benefit that I actually want to talk about is a very different, but I know that this is exactly what you're looking for. Whether you're in a relationship right now, whether you have a girlfriend that you don't like and that you think that she's kind of a bitch, or you have a happy relationship, but you actually want to have more social events to actually go out to, social circle is all about all of those things. Any of those things that I just listed, if you already have a girlfriend, if you want to leave your girlfriend, if you've thought about leaving your girlfriend, or you just want to have a cooler social life, well, social circle is that. When you're in a social environment and you're meeting more of the girls that are actually your type and you're meeting more of the girls that are more social and outgoing, well, those are the things that get you more access to events. When I become friends with the girls that are at these events, I invite them to other events and then I ask them to bring their friends. And then the next time I want to throw an event, well, my life has just kind of become this four hour work week. I can work 16 hours a day, improving my mentorship program. And because of that, I don't have a ton of time to arrange these events. So when I'm trying to get girls and I'm trying to actually get girls to events, well, I just need to have female friends. And that's probably not what you're thinking about right now. If you feel like you're not able to get girls right now and you're not able to actually date them, if you're not able to find your dream partner, well, if you found your dream partner, would you really want her to be in your friend zone? Well, weirdly, yes. So you've probably already seen a glimpse into these benefits already. And this isn't anything kind of crazy or anything like that. But what I want to tell you is that, hey, you can also get those benefits from building your social circle, even if you're in a small town, even if you're in a big city, even if you're starting from scratch or you've already kind of, you know, worked your way up a little bit at this point. And this is what I want to offer you right now. Look down in the link down below and read what's on that page. On that page, it actually tells you exactly how we can help you build your own elite lifestyle and actually reap the benefits that I talk about in this video. Now, this is not for guys who procrastinate, guys who don't believe in challenging the status quo, guys who don't believe in thinking differently. 
And what we're actually gonna do is you actually have to apply for that call because we don't just let anybody on there. We are really harsh about who we screen because we only want success stories in my mentoring program. So on that call, and it's actually a free consultation as well. And if you don't like it, I'll send you $300 directly to your bank account. Just send me a message on Instagram at Coach Patrick Red. And you can actually apply for that call and then book the exact time and date that you want us to give you a call. And we will actually call you at that number, ask you a few questions, see if we can even help you in the first place, and then set you on a one-on-one -on -one call with one of our experts to actually give you a full step-by-step -step plan of how you can get started right away. And like I said, this opportunity is not always gonna be here. I'm not always gonna be coaching this this is my baby right now. This is what I'm super passionate about right now. This is what I go all in for right now in this very minute, but it won't always be there. I won't always be coaching this. And unfortunately it's some people have already missed out on some of the opportunities. They thought it was going to be there and they're like, Hey Patrick, why'd you close it down for a little bit? I'm like, sorry, Hey, I'll put you on the wait list for a little bit, but I can't uh, actually meet up with the demand that we have right now. So click that link down below. And again, Never procrastinate. Cheers. I don't even drink, so I don't even know why I have this. I'm not gonna lie. This is just for the video shot, but it looks cool. So that's all that matters. <laughs>